啦。One day I could have cows as well. Because this is still my land. Up till that bigger tree, basically where the cows are. Or a horse. Next week or in a few weeks the farmer will come here probably as well. Let them graze. Basically my land goes until where the cows are. A little bit lower over there. And then until the forest is over there.
So I got an email from this um, architecture firm, uh, small company, I think there's only three of them in Barcelona, and they asked if I wanted them to make a model uh, of the cabin. It's what they specialize in, visualizations and models of architecture pieces, houses, beautiful little art pieces. So I send them my sketch up file in which I usually design things and visualize the works on the cabins and um, they took it up a notch. They're still working on that model but they made some visualizations of renderings of the cabin inside. Uh, we talked a bit about how I wanted to uh, decorate it and how everything's going to be and also outside. So we talked about gardening and terracing and so this is just a look in the future how it things could look in a, in a couple of years. Okay, a beautiful summer's day in what 2026, 27 when all the building is finished, and also when the landscape has recovered a bit. You know, it always takes some time for the grass to come back and flowers to see it again. But here you can see where I'm working on now. The retaining wall is going to be here, creating a secluded space in front of the cabins. I like this rendering a lot. So here you can see how the terrace would look if it's finished. Um, very low wall in which you could sit actually. Uh, or I could also imagine it would be nice if this is just flat. And perhaps a little more grass going on some stepping stones around here um, but it depends you know in terms of styling there's many ways you could go you could keep it very rustic you could keep it a bit more make it a bit more domestic um, uh, but this is something you know that will change over years because people change and their home changes alongside with them so this is just surrendering the garden area so this is a shot basically from the tent deck where there are terraces uh, with the pond here. The benefit of having terraces here is that you create a better angle for the sunlight because the sun is coming from here and with terraces are basically similar as a, a garden bed. Um, it, it makes the soil warmer so it's better for gardening. In terms of landscaping, probably keeping it quite rustic. So flagstones in combination with gravel and then the grass coming through. I think that's quite beautiful. Some nighttime shots, the picnic table and the fireplace. One of my favorite spots here. The outdoor kitchen, I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but it could be nice outside area because the view to here is quite beautiful which you don't have at the cabins it's different there so this is a really nice outdoor area for people that come to visit or just camp and they put a sort of a bathtub in the ter in the deck which is quite interesting yeah why not let's have a look inside so this is a small cabin which the floor is going to be open on this side and you'll always enter the cabin on this side, right? So this would be the living area where you cook, where you sit, where in the evening, where you eat, where I work. And then downstairs is the bedroom and the washing area. Now all of these things like the kitchen and this kind of table and chair is not fine. All these are just stock and put in there. I do like the idea of a very low fence here, which kind of closes this in a bit. And this could also be just a small sitting area with a sofa and a small table, you know, it's a, it's a small space but you can do a lot with it and then you could w walk down here and then you can go downstairs which could look like this so shower in this corner this door is just a window, it's not going to be used as a, as a walkway uh, toilet here bed, washing area, and then the fireplace is on the other side. Um, 
You know, it's quite unusual to have a toilet and shower just in the bathroom. It's like a, a very modern hotel, right? But the alternative would be that you have to make an enclosed space and this cabin is just too small for that. It won't be the only bathroom. Here in the other cabins downstairs, uh, accessible from the outside, will be another bathroom with a washing area and shower and toilet. Um, so if I have guests or you're staying here with more people, you could use this bathroom as well if you want. But, you know, when it's winter and there's a meter of snow outside or there's a snowstorm, you wake up in the night, it's nice to have a, a toilet in the cabin here too. Do I have more shots? Yeah, look at that. It could be really nice to have a beamer hanging on one of the beams there and then a screen just coming from behind this one and then you have a cinema. I really like that idea. Yeah, this is very exciting to see. Um, it ha really helps visualizing uh, the living spaces, and uh, you know, it's exciting to see the future, especially in this time when everything is a mess. I'm tearing up the landscape, and the type of works that I'm doing is it's very heavy and slow progress. And uh, I mean, I was looking at uh, the video from a year ago. I do that sometimes to kind of see what the landscape is looking like exactly a year ago. It's the nice thing of having so many videos. Um, but a year ago everything looked better than now. Uh, it's quite a messy place to be honest. Except from the roof, obviously, that's that's new. So thanks uh, Sivart and um, uh, his girlfriend and another colleague. This is a they're a small company but it's nice to work with them. Um, and I'm looking forward to see the model in a few weeks. I'm curious what they're going to make of it. You know how these work? Uh, no, I can find it. Okay, wait, I'll see. Let me show you. Yeah, this tool is good. This is good for digging, but be careful when you're behind the rock. Yeah. And you're gonna put a lot of pressure, you'll break it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've broken it. Yeah. So, uh, this one's good for lifting. You get deeper in there. There's a few smaller ones. Mm -hmm. The one over there you can use. La Libera. Libera. A lever. Yeah, Libera. Yeah, yeah, Libera in, uh, in Italian. Short one. <laughs>
Ai, ai. Some mint and basil in the garden. Maybe, yeah. Let's see how much of them. But the most important question is where there is the most beautiful girls? Looks like we can lose some more dirt here. So, yeah, right now it's still higher. Mm -hmm. You can yes. see the high point. So we should get kind of this slope. Okay. Like clear slope. And, uh, it looks like this could be nice. It could be a little bit more even, but go mm -hmm. down nicely here. It should go down a bit more here. So you need a little more, more dirt here. Mm -hmm. This needs to go. Yeah, we're going to need move that here. Yeah.
some of that. Ale medzuki jest. Va bene. Signori, devo via. Kinchin. Grazie, we are good cold. Kinchin. Cheers, Cheers. This is looking good. It's even better when you see the the water drops. Uh, yeah. This beer is shining. <laughs> Quite a lot of them there. Oh, really? Uh, every year it gets more. Okay. So they're spread. <coughs> and during the winter, well, the, the plants are surviving. And they die off when they come back. Mm -hmm. so the raspberries stay on in the winter. Yeah, the part is not flower, pure flower like sticks there, it's not, like it makes it more chewy. Yeah. yeah. Because it's integral or because... Because it's integral. Yeah. I see this, the crusca, yeah, yeah. the the part, the less pure part, does not, um, it amalgama. It does not unite with the, unite with the, with the water. So it just stays there. Yeah. Pagliatella. The rustic one. Handmade. Homemade. Egg bust. Like uh, mountain made. Yeah. Cabin made. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like this. Not too tight. It's okay. And then you make the width, yeah.
I'll just. I'll just or maybe two people. two people. Took the liberty of. Let's turn it a bit more uh, counterclockwise and then we'll lift it on that flat side. Okay. And then we walk with it. Yeah, we're gonna go up here. Right. And we walk. Look at this. Can you shoot? Almost, uh, yeah, the yeah. beautiful old shoe. They put shoes in the roof also for good luck, good yeah. spirits. Yeah. This way and start the rolling or walking. Turn, turn a bit. I think rolling. Oh, rolling. Like a rolling stone. So, one standing here, two here. We'll push. Let's go. Put the gun Okay. Yes. On your side. Look at this. This bar. Wait, wait. Wait. 
Nice guys. Nice job. Yes. Rapidito. Rapidito. Okay, a lot going on this week, all Italian crew this time, um, Fabio he was from Emilia Romagna, the pasta maker, Davide from Lecco, they're gone already and um, Tommaso is from Milan. And this car is from Geppo, he's a friend of mine from Giavena which is not so far from here. Um, he's also renovating a house, we're kind of going at the same speed. But he has a much bigger house, so he works with a, a building company. Uh, but he's a window maker, so I asked him if he could help me with my windows. A job I wanted to do myself, but because I'm a bit on a, uh, a tight schedule for this summer. Um, I asked him to do it because he's a professional and he has all the machinery. And for me to make a big glass window uh, for downstairs is just a job. I mean, the workshop is not ready for it, but and I'm not ready for it. It's kind of a work of precision and the glass is heavy, so it's a little difficult. So he's going to do that and he's going to work with the old floorboards. We're going to try to make something which is made from the old floorboards from the other cabin, which, is, which are very old, so uh, I think it's going to be very beautiful. Gravel arrived. They're bringing a second batch. In an hour or so uh, the gravel for the road so we're gonna work this weekend probably usually I edit the videos in the weekend but it's it's pretty busy right now got some visitors you know people are on the road so uh, more visitors next week and some friends are coming as well so it's, that's nice I'm gonna see how Jeppo's doing Templates. Yeah.